So this is me discovering while editing that I did not film a proper intro for today's video. But today's video is my first Halloween tutorial of my series. I'm so excited to be doing this. I'm so sorry I forgot to film an intro. I'm the worst. But I really hope you guys like it and there will be plenty more where this came from where I remember to film an intro. But make sure you subscribe down below, hit the little notification bell, and just keep on watching. Okay, so first and foremost, ignore my hair because I'm going to put a wig on so I didn't do anything with it. But for this ice queen type of look, um, we're just going to start off with the brows because they need a lot of help. But we're not going to fill them in like a normal brow. We're definitely going to spice it up a little bit. Okay, so what you're first going to want to do is to spoolie the hairs up just like you would when you're doing your brows normally. I'm going to take this Aesthetica little angled brush right here, and I'm taking the Wet n Wild Paint Palette, I guess. This is like from their little Halloween collection. I'm going to take this blue color right here. I'm going to use this kind of like it's a pomade to fill in my brows. If it's a little thick at first, don't worry, we're going to go in and clean everything up so you can be as messy as you want to be. So once you have that base color down, let's go in and clean them up a little bit because it is looking a little bit bushy. Oh, by the way, I'm not naked. I have a shirt on. Just want to put that disclaimer out there. <laughs> so now that that brow is done, I want to lighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Paint Pot. This is in white. Just because this is an ice queen look. So I want my brows to, you know, kind of look like they're frozen. You know, just, just you're, you'll see. So for that, I'm actually just going to take the spoolie that I was using, and I'm just going to run it in this paint pot. And I'm kind of just going to comb this through my brows. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so you can definitely just stop here, and you can leave your eyebrow looking like this. This looks good, but I'm going to be even more extra, and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Co Color Icon Loose Pigment. This is in the shade You're My Boo. Oh, that's cute. It's like an iridescent color. And I'm just going to take this and run this through my brow. So to do this, I'm just going to take that angled brush again, and I'm going to spritz it a little bit just so the pigment really picks up on my brush. Yeah. And I'm just going to comb this through my brows. Am I ever going to get all of this out of my brows? Probably not, but you know what? It is spooky season and it is time to get spooky. Spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Okay. So now that your brow looks like it's frozen to your face, then you know that you're doing you're doing it right. <laughs> okay. So now that we have both brows on and they are frozen it is time to move on to the eyes so i want to first start by priming them and i'm just going to use some concealer again this is the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer and in case anyone is wondering i'm in the shade swan so i'm just gonna prime my eyes get them ready for shadow but i think to start off i definitely want to start off with some i want to go in with like blue it's kind of going to be like a theme. So I think I want to start off with this color. Yeah, this color right here from the NYX Ultimate Brights Palette, or Ultimate Shadow Palette in Brights. And I'm going to do that on a LMR Cosmetics, like, big fluffy brush. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to put it in my crease. I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing, but I really, I don't know. We're going to see how it turns out. 
I'm going to just also take note that I did not set my eyeshadow or my eyelid primer. I'm going in with it wet, so that is going to take a little bit more like patience and blending, but honestly, it all works out better in the end. The pigment shows up better, and it's just, it, it's my go-to method. So I'm just going to build this color up in my crease, and I think I'm actually going to like wing it out a little bit, because I'm really thinking I want to do some type of like cut crease. So I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker blue and to do that I'm going to use the Morphe M506. It's just like a little tiny blender brush and I think I'm going to stay with this NYX palette and I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to mix these two blues. still not quite the color that I want it, so I think that I'm going to dip into the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette, and I think I'm going to dip into this color right here. It is karaoke, and that is more of like a royal blue, I guess. I just want it to deepen up and like make it more of like a, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so now it is time to cut the crease. I don't have a concealer that's as light as I want it to be, so I'm just gonna go back in with that Wet n Wild paint pot and on a flat synthetic brush that I used to carve out my eyebrows, I am going to carve out my crease. Okay, so as you can see, it's obviously not perfect, but that's okay because we are not leaving it like this. But before we, I guess, fix it up a little bit, I'm going to go back in to that pigment that we used earlier and we're just gonna set that like white shade. So, to make it a little bit more extra, a little bit more glam, I bought these cute little gemstones. These were like 95 cents from Walmart. Nothing special, but I do want to use these in my crease. I'm going to start right at the inner corner. Pop it. Right there in that inner corner. Just like that. And then we are just going to continue doing this all like where we cut the crease. So, now that we have those gems in place, we are looking extra sassy, I am gonna go in with some lashes. Now, so first things first is we need to lighten our own lashes. You know, our lashes are pretty dark. We don't need those peeping through. So, so that's where our paint pot comes back into play. This thing is a lifesaver. I'm actually really, this was, this one from Wet n Wild, I'm pretty sure was like $3 at Walmart. Like, you can't beat it. So I'm kind of just going to like comb this through my lashes. If these lashes are not the worst things in the world, then this is going to look so pretty. But if they are the worst thing in the world, then you can just keep going in with that white paint pot on your eyelashes and that will just make them look kind of frozen and um, you could probably even add the... Uh, glitter pigment that we were using earlier that would also be really pretty on them. We're going to see if these lashes will work. These actually aren't the worst things in the world. Obviously I have paint all over my face right now, but these kind of look really good with this look. Like, okay, so I have both eyes done. I'm looking at a little crazy right now, but it is going to look good in the end. So the next thing I want to do is my face. So to start off, I'm going to prime it like normal because I want smooth skin. I'm just taking my Smashbox photo finish, putting that all over the face. Okay. So once the skin is primed, I need to go in with a foundation. So I am pale, but none of my foundations are going to give me the color that I want. So I'm going to take the palest foundation that I have, which is the Fenty Beauty 
and this is in 120 and then I'm also going to take my wet and wild paint pot and I'm going to kind of mix it together so I can get the shade that get to the shade that I want to be at and then I'm going to take the Fenty oh I look crazy and I'm going to just pump this on the back of my hand I don't want to be like super like I don't want to be like stark white so that's why I'm mixing in the foundation because that does give me more of like a natural color but the white is going to give me that like really pale I live in the freaking winter forest kind of look <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and bring that down onto our neck and chest I just want to make sure this matches the rest of my body because that's how you're going to get the full effect okay so now that you are as pale as a ghost probably paler um, it is time to conceal <laughs> I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing that I did with the foundation I'm going to mix the two because I don't have a concealer that's wide enough so I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way in Swan and I'm taking my paint pot and I'm just gonna makeshift something. So just do a little bit of white where you would highlight down my nose, on the chin, right there. And then I'm gonna just take a little dab of the concealer and blend that out so now that we are all creamed up it is time to set it because we do still need to set it and to do that I'm using my Maybelline fit me in 05 fair this is the lightest powder I have and it is still not white enough so I'm going to do this very very sparingly because I don't want it to mess with the color that I have going on in my face right now because I want to be this pale, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just kind of going to sweep it around, just trying to set it so that I don't have a bunch of creams going everywhere. Honestly, with the Fenty foundation, you probably don't have to set it because it is so matte, but I'm going to set it so I don't get any like smudges and stuff doesn't like slip and slide around on my face. So I'm just going to ever so lightly brush this around my face and this is good because this powder does not have flashback so you can use it all over your face and not have to worry about um, taking pictures on Halloween and getting flashback so now that we are looking one-dimensional I am going to contour so to start off I definitely want to use, hmm, I think I'm going to be safe and start off with using like these two lighter colors right here. And I'm just going to take this on a small little brush. This is the Morphe M530. And I'm just going to dip into these colors, mixing them together. And I'm going to kind of use this as the contour shade. It is time to highlight. I don't really want to do like a blush. I'm going to use a mix of the wet and two, these two wet and wild highlighting powders. I have the color, I have the color Winter Falls in LA and Halo Walkers. Halo Walkers is more of like a blue. Okay, so we're going to start with this one. It is like a blue iridescent. So wet and wild highlighters are honestly best drugstore highlighters. They're so affordable. All right, let's just pop that on my cheekbones. Yeah, I am digging this right above my brow. So now that we are highlighted to filth, I am looking a little crazy. Where's my beauty blender? Oh, there it is. I'm looking a little tiny bit crazy. It is time to do the lower lash line. We are just going to do everything that we did up top on the bottom. Cut these little snowflake pieces that I want to 
kind of just pop onto my chest and like glue them around. Okay, so off of camera, I went ahead and just glued some snowflakes to my chest. I really like how this turned out. It's so super cute. And the last step before I throw on my wig and my little homemade crown is to do lips. Now, I kind of want to do, I don't know. I think I'm going to line my lips with this blue from the Wet n Wild Paints palette. So once I have them like a little bit filled in, I'm then going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Blast Iridescent Lip Color. It's just in this like iridescent blue color. It's so pretty. I'm going to fill in my lips. Now I'm going to pop on my wig and I'll be back with the finished result. Oh, okay guys, this is my finished Ice Queen makeup look. I really hope you like it. I did a little DIY, um, oh, it's falling, a DIY crown. It is so cute. If you guys wanted to know how I made it, I can definitely like link all the stuff that I bought for it down below. Just leave some comments. Um, I literally love how this turned out so much. I love the little decals on my chest. I love the eye makeup. It's so pretty. These are a little bit falling off, so I need to glue them down better. I love the wig. It just makes the outfit. I am so pale. Oh my God. I literally could not have asked for a better like way for this to turn out. It is so beautiful. And honestly, I'm so excited for this month. It is spooky season. It is time for Halloween makeup looks and I cannot wait. Just so you guys know, I do have one Halloween look planned for each week of October. This is the first one, a little ice queen, snow queen, glam princess thing. I am so in love. This wig from Feshfin kind of like makes the look. If the like wig wasn't this blonde and then this long and this beautiful. I don't know if it would have turned out as well. Literally, this is so beautiful. I really hope you guys liked it and I cannot wait for you guys to see next week's Halloween tutorial. This was so much fun to make and I absolutely cannot wait to make next week. So before you leave, make sure you have hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell right beside it so you can be notified every time I upload content. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so that y'all know you guys like my Halloween tutorials and I cannot wait to film the rest of these for you guys. This was so much fun. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.